recipe is proudly brought to you by Malaysia Kitchen. I'm going to make a potato salad, but this is not any potato salad. I'm going to give it a little Malaysian twist. So what I've done here is baked a whole sweet potato. Now this is quite a large sweet potato, so I'm going to use half of it. We need roughly 300 grams for this sauce. So I'm going to cut that straight down the centre. And into a small food processor, I'm just going to scoop out the flesh. Now you want to cook this in the oven at around 180 degrees for a good hour until it's really, really soft, just like this one is. So we don't want any of the skin there. I might just do this on the board. And you want to scoop out as much of that flesh as possible. Now for some extra sweetness. This is a sweet potato salad. A little bit of palm sugar. I'm just going to just roughly chop it and that can go in. For some tanginess, I've got some tamarind paste here. That can go in. And we need some spice. Now, these are used quite a lot in Malaysia. I remember on my trip, I'd see them everywhere and we only need about five of them because we don't want it to be too spicy. And I'll squeeze out the water for now, but we will be using this water to really emulsify this dressing. So I'm just going to roughly chop them. I'm keeping the seeds in. If you want it to be a little bit milder, you can take them out. And we need some soy sauce. So this is thick soy sauce, two tablespoons and some sesame oil, a few drops of that. We'd say about a quarter of a teaspoon there. And now I'm going to blitz this until a paste forms and then we're going to thin it out with this chilli water. OK, let's have a look at this. Perfect. Puree. Now to thin it out, we want about a cup of this water. So start with half a cup, blitz it and we'll add a little bit more. Touch more. All right, let's have a taste now to make sure that it's correct. This is the consistency that we're looking for. It still is thick, but think of this as the mayonnaise and the sour cream that we'd put in our classic potato salad. It should be thick because it does need to coat all of these ingredients. Now let's put this to the side and we can start assembling the salad. Now I'm adding some prawns to this for some sweetness again. I'm just going to cut them in thirds. And they can go in. You can see I've only got four, five prawns here. Some eggs, hard-boiled eggs, and I'm adding two of those. You want everything to be around the same size so we can quarter this. And it's OK if that egg yolk crumbles up a bit. Perfect. A little bit more. And some tofu. Now, this is puff tofu. It actually looks like sponge, but it's really light on the mouth there. These have been deep fried and you can get them from all good Asian grocers. I'm going to leave them in halves there. We've got some bean sprouts for some crunch, a good handful of those. I'm going to leave just a small amount back because that's going to be for the garnish. And some cucumber. On my trip to Malaysia, I always remember there's always cucumber in so many of their dishes. And I love it because it freshens the whole dish up. So one whole Lebanese cucumber here, seeds and all, is fine. And now for the potatoes. Now you could use chap potatoes, desirees. My favourite are waxy kipfler potatoes. Now I just steam them in a steamer with the skin on them and then once they cool down slightly peel them. That's the best way to steam potatoes because if you peel them first you're going to lose a lot of the flavour. So leave the skin on. That's looking good. And now instead of mixing the sauce through it, you can do that, but for presentation purposes, I love the look of it on top of it. So I'm just going to pour our salad in this big platter. I'm going to place some of our sweet potato sauce on top, a few large spoonfuls. This is all about the flavour in this potato salad. Now just for a final garnish, the bean sprouts can go back on the top there. Some fried shallots. I always have fried shallots in my cupboard because they're fantastic to use when you just want to garnish a salad. So a good handful of those on top. And last but not least, some peanuts that I've toasted. Again, this is just another layer to this potato salad. A fantastic way to do a potato salad with a little bit of a Malaysian twist. Mm -hmm.